Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be looking at how to use our Motion Array Stretch plugin for Premiere Pro. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're here inside of Premiere Pro, and once you've downloaded and installed our Stretch Effect plugin, you can find it right inside of your effects panel. If you're not quite sure how to download and install our plugins, check out this video right here, and I'll link to it in the description below. So once we've got it all set up, you can find it within its own Motion Array folder here under Video Effects. And here you can see that I have the stretch effect that I can simply drag and drop onto my footage. Once you do this, you might notice that it has a red X over top of it. If that's the case, don't worry, all you have to do is highlight the piece of footage with the plugin and go up to this box here in your Effect Controls panel. When you click it, you can sign into your Motion Array account. As long as you have an active paid Motion Array subscription, this plugin will be active. So once it's active, you can begin playing around to get the particular effects that you want. The way that this effect works is by taking a particular portion of the screen and using it as a starting point to basically stretch and then offset the remainder of the footage depending on a variety of parameters. These parameters that you can control are length, width, direction, center, and an on-off switch for displacement. Let's start with length. This parameter changes the length of the actual stretching portion of this effect. You can see this sort of panel area that's stretched out. The actual stretching takes place here and is now displaced this portion of video here. Changing the length will directly increase or decrease the length of the stretched bit here, and then we'll end up moving the displaced section over even more. So you can see that stretching it a very large amount will leave you with streaks that are colored in a way that's consistent with the rest of your footage. Next up is width. Right here you can see that our stretch effect is around this region here but we can make it wider by increasing the width parameter. Similarly, you can make it incredibly narrow by decreasing the width. Next up is direction, which pretty much simply is the angle at which you see this effect take place on your footage. By default, it's set to 45 degrees, but you can rotate it in any direction you want. Choose variants of either 0, 90, 180, or 270 degrees to create a perfectly vertical or horizontal effect. And you can choose any amount or angle in between. Second to last is center. This is the placement where the effect starts from, but it's also where this effect is drawing the stretch effect data from. So all of these stretching portions here are the particular way they are because they're being stretched from this imaginary line here. To see exactly where your center mark is, click on the parameter here to highlight it and then a blue target will pop up to show you. To move the effect, or to choose a different point where the stretch data is being taken from, move the first parameter to move the point horizontally, and change the second to move your parameter vertically. Finally, the displacement check lets you decide whether you want the effect to just be the stretching, or to have the displacement of the rest of this panel to be enabled. And those are all the different parameters for our stretch effect. But that's not all there is to the effect, because each of these effects can be keyframed to animate in any way you want. Activate a keyframing parameter by clicking the stopwatch to make it blue. Then any two changes you make will have the difference between them iterate over time. This will give you another level of control to be able to make some really cool effects. What's even cooler is that you can stack these effects on top of each other, and they'll interact with each other. So you can see that this second stretch recognizes the first one and takes it into account. Stacking multiple of these effects can result in giving you some incredibly complex looks. But you can actually take this step further for even more control. By placing an adjustment layer over top of your clip, you can take control over timing and opacity, make the effect partially transparent, or rapidly turn it on and off for some trippy visuals. This effect is really just an extension of your creativity, so test it out, have some fun with it, and see what you come up with. And guys, that's how you use our Stretch Effect plugin for Premiere Pro. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, as always, we have lots of other tutorials that you can check out right here at MotionArray.com. We've got tutorials for Premiere Pro, After Effects, and even filmmaking in general. Check it out! But that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.